Hello and welcome to The Only Way is Open Source. In this short video, I shall be showing you how to install and host Nextcloud locally on a fresh install of Ubuntu. To help, I have made available a short user guide. This is available in the description below for if you wish to download and use it. So without further ado, let's get started. To begin with, we need to install PHP MySQL and Apache in order to build and deploy dynamic websites and web applications. All the commands for this video can simply be copied and pasted from the guide provided straight into the terminal, like so. So we'll just grab the first command, copy and paste it. Note, when copying and pasting commands into the console though, make sure that there are no unnecessary gaps like this. By removing all of these unnecessary gaps it will ensure that the command will execute as it should do. Once you've got your command ready, just press enter. You'll be prompted for the sudo password. And then you will then be asked if you want to continue. In this instance, of course we do, um, it's just informing us of all the extra additional packages that it needs to install. So just press Y for yes, then hit enter. Apache is the web server responsible for serving web pages. MySQL is the database management system used to store and retrieve data and PHP is the server-side scripting language used to create dynamic content and interact with the database. All three critical and crucial things that Nextcloud requires in order to work successfully. Once all the necessary packages have been downloaded and installed, head on over to Firefox and do a search for Nextcloud. Go to nextcloud.com using the menu at the top. Go to get nextcloud, nextcloud server. Expand out community projects and scroll down to get zip file. Left click. And this will do download a zipped up directory named latest.zip. Once this has downloaded, the contents of this directory needs to be unzipped. So to do so, just grab this command, copy it, paste it into the console. Before executing the command, ensure that you change where it says username to the name of the user that is logged on attempting to execute the command. So in my case, it is Tarius. This will then extract the directory named latest.zip into var www.html. Once you're ready to go, press enter. To ensure that the contents of the extracted files are secure, we need to change the ownership of the directory that they are stored in. So you just grab this command, copy it, paste it, and this will ensure that all the files within Nextcloud, which is lo in located in var www.html, will have an ownership of www data. So just press enter and that's done. The next phase requires us to amend the php.ini file. The php.ini file contains the default configurations um, 
that applications such as Nextcloud utilize. And it's here where we can amend the configurations responsible for things like um, file size limits, for example. So to do this, we need to open the php.ini file in a text editor, such as nano. So we just execute sudo nano, and that will open the php.ini file, which is located in etsy php 8.1 Apache 2. And it's here that we want to amend several variables. So the first one is that we want to actually enable max input vars. So to do this, press Control and W, and this will bring up the search facility. And simply, simply type in max underscore input underscore vars. Press Enter, and as you can see, it's found it straight away. To enable it, we just delete the semicolon at the start. <coughs> and then we want to amend the figure to 5000. The next one is to increase the memory limit. And we want to change that to 512. Um, luckily, that's just a few lines below. So just using the uh, cursor, the arrow keys, just go down and change that to 512. Next we want to change the upload max file size to 1 gig. So again, control W to bring up the search and just type in upload underscore max underscore file size. Change this to 1 gigabyte which is particularly beneficial because Nextcloud, um, in essence, is not too dissimilar to Office 365, Dropbox, and Google Drive. So you're probably going to have some quite large files that at some point you're going to want to upload. And you don't want you know, any, any limitations preventing that. Of course, you can put whatever number you want in. But for me personally, one gigabyte, um, I think, is, is quite a reasonable amount. Um, we also want to change the max file uploads. Again, this is just a couple of lines below. This is set to 20. If we just change that to 50, we also want to change the post max size. So again, control W, do a search for post underscore max underscore size. At the moment, this is set to eight, but I think we want to disable the limit. So we just put in zero. And lastly, we want to change the max execution time. So again, control W, max underscore execution underscore time. And just change this to 300. Okay, those are all our changes. So to save it, press control X, press Y for yes, and then enter. And that's that, that's done. Next, we want to start the web server. So we want to start Apache 2. So let's grab this command, paste it in, press enter. No errors are returned, but just to get a visual rep representation to show that it is running okay, if we just load Firefox and then get a new tab up and do a search for HTTP full colon forward slash forward slash local host as we can see, Apache 2 is up and running. It works. Next, we need to set up the database. The first thing to do is start the MySQL service, like so. We then need to log into MySQL. So if we just grab this command here. For now, there is no password. So when I paste this in and press enter, it'll ask for a password or ask to enter a password in. There's no need to at the moment, just press enter. And as you can see, the command line interface has changed to MySQL Chevron, indicating that we are in fact logged into the database server itself. Now that I am in, 
let's create a database for Nextcloud to use. In this instance, it's named Nextcloud underscore DB. So just grab this command up here. It'll ignore all the highlighted colors, paste it in, press enter. Simply check that the database is in fact there as we want it by using the show databases command. And there we go, nextcloud underscore db. Next is to create a user for the specific database. So the user is going to be called nextcloud user. It will be on the local host and it will have a password of password123 exclamation mark exclamation mark with a capital P. So we'll just grab this command, copy, paste it in. That's good. We then need to give this user permission for for the Nextcloud database. So grab this command, paste it in, press enter. Then flush privileges to ensure that the modifications are active and accessible. And that's it. We've done everything we need to do. So now we just need to leave MySQL with the quit command. And as you can see, we're back to our normal prompt. And the final phase is to install Nextcloud itself. So we need to head on over to Firefox again and go to the following address http full colon forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash next cloud. And here we are. The first stage is to create an admin account. In this instance, the username is going to be next admin with a capital N and a capital A. And its password is going to be complex with a capital C, one, two, three, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. The data folder, leave it as it is, there's no need to change that. The database user, well from our previous step, we called it Nextcloud user. So we need to enter that in here. And the database password as previously mentioned, was password with a capital P. One, two, three, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Database name was nextcloud underscore db. And this is being hosted locally on this machine itself. So it will be localhost, and we need to include the port number, and that will be full colon. 5432. Press install. It will now inform you of all the recommended apps it needs to install. I suggest at this point we just install the recommended apps. This can take some time, but once it's installed, you will know. And there we have it. All the recommended apps are now installed. We have a nice little welcome screen. If I just close that, we are now presented with the Nextcloud dashboard.